Hey there, it's David Chanelli here. And Ariana Kermit. With another Fast Talk Friday. <laughs> you almost forgot. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> so Ariana, obviously, like, you know, you're, you've been working with some buyers, sorry, some renters lately, and also working with some landlords. We always work with, you know, leases. Whatever you, basically whatever your real estate needs are, we're here to help. Yep. So you've worked with some, uh, you know, some interesting situations lately. Uh, yeah. If you have any advice for some landlords, what would it be when it comes to like when you have documentation? We have some from thoughts. Do you have any? Yeah, do you definitely want to do your reference check? So if a couple references are provided, you want to call those people, get as much info as you can. The current landlord might not actually be super honest because maybe they're trying to get that tenant out of their place. Mm -hmm. So it's good to call the previous landlord and again, every reference that's listed on there. And being a tenant, you just want to be as honest as possible. You don't want the landlord to find things out behind your back like even with your your credit it, everybody has a story so the more you share up front the better yeah i was we were saying too it's like so one of the red flags we found is sometimes if your current address is different from your license you saw that come up right yeah, a couple times now yeah so it kind of gives a little red flag the other thing is because you have references call the references you ran into one the other day too you called and they're like it definitely was not the person's landlord was it no. <laughs> no. No. And they were kind of shocked. They're calling, like, who is this calling? And it's like, yeah. yeah. So this is why you also want to follow up and make sure that the people that they're saying on their on their paperwork are the people who they are. Like, yeah. like actually, who they are. Yeah. Did I say that right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you don't want to start off a relationship where you're lying right off the bat and then trying to figure that out. You don't want to be caught with your pants down. Sorry. Especially today. <laughs> Especially in today's market with, with COVID, it's really hard if you have a tenant who's not paying, getting them out. Yeah. So you got to be really careful. But on the side note, though, too, other people I always, I've, I've had some landlords who are always harping on, I need to have a certain, you know, credit score. I would say that's not always necessary, right? Exactly, yeah. I, like Ariana alluded to earlier, it's all about the story. Some people don't have great credit. Maybe they did something bad in the past, but the last couple of years they've been building on their credit, yeah. right? And other people have had really good credit. They really don't deserve it. I was telling Ariana, I had a... I had a tenant, not my personal, we, we had a tenant we tried to get out where we were trying to sell. They had it over a 900 score, uh, sort of credit score, and they were a nightmare to get anything from. It was just, yeah, so those people, they didn't really care. So anyway, my point is, it's not all just about the numbers. Yeah, it's, it's about being honest and explaining and not having to find stuff out later. <laughs> so, and even with the license thing, like there may be a valid reason as to why your address on your license is different. If you receive mail somewhere else, that's fine. But again, that's something you should explain right away so that nobody is concerned or confused or anything like that. Absolutely. Well, thanks. Cool. Hope you enjoyed this chat. If there's any kind of topics you want us to talk about like in our recent adventures, because there's always a lot, yeah. <laughs> let us know. Have a great day.